Hi everyone, you're welcome to MJ Apparel Tutorial and today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful three step or three layer sleeve. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, drop a comment and also share this video. So here I have my basic sleeve drafted already. If you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve, I'll be dropping a link to how to draft a perfect basic sleeve in five minutes. So here I have my basic sleeve and the sleeve I'm making the length is 20 inch. But here I have a basic sleeve of length 14 inch, one inch for sewing allowance while the rest is for the sleeve. So I have 14 inch here because the remaining part is going to be the flay. So I don't want to waste my fabric. That was why I drafted 14 inch for the sleeve. Then I will attach the flay on the hem. So the next thing we will be doing is to divide the sleeve into three. So because we're making three step, we'll be dividing it into three. If you're making four step, you divide it into four, depending on the amount of steps you want to attach to the sleeve. So here I'm going to be dividing the sleeve into three. So the first sleeve will come at this five inch mark, while the second one will come on the 10 inch mark. Then I'll be inserting the last flake at the hem of the sleeve. So next I'll be doing is to draw a straight horizontal line so that I'll be able to sew on a straight line when attaching the flip. So this is what we have after dividing the sleeve. Remember that if you're making more than three steps, you divide it to the number of steps you want. So and you take note that the last step, the last flip should be on the hem of the sleeve so basically that is what it's going to look like the next thing we're going to be doing is to cut out the flay we'll be attaching to this line drawn and in doing that make sure that the first flay you are drafting should be a little bit longer than the second flay remember we left seven inch out of the sleeve length so here i have five inch when i add two inch this first flay is going to stop at this point the second flay is also going to stop at two inch below the third flay so this is done so as to get that step like look after making the flay so you make sure that the flay are on each other it should have a step like look when you are making it so the next i'll be doing is to measure this part like this here i have 18 inch here i have 17 inch so i'm measuring this so that i can calculate the radius of the flay i'll be attaching to this point and also to the one below so i'll be using the 18 inch to calculate the radius so after measuring this part, the next thing we'll be doing is to calculate the radius of the flay we'll be attaching to the sleeve. And in doing that, remember here we have 18 inch. I'm going to be writing the 18 inch divided by 6.28. We are cutting a full flay for the sleeve. And the answer is 2.8. If you're cutting a half flay, you divide by 3.14. So next we'll be calculating the amount of fabric to fold. And in doing that, we'll be adding the radius plus the flay length plus sewing allowance so the radius we are making use of is 2.8 plus flay length of 7 inch plus sewing allowance which is equals to 10.8 so in folding the material we are going to be folding 10.8 this is done so as to reduce the amount of fabric wasted when cutting the flay so we'll be moving over to cutting our full flay for the sleeve here i have my fabric laid like this remember we are cutting a full flay and in folding it will be needing 10.8 for the folding so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to measure the 10.8 at this point so i'll measure the 10.8 at this point then i'm going to mark like this after which I'm going to be folding it over this way, taking note of the 10.8 point I have. So I'll fold it over this way. Then the next thing I'll be doing is to mark 
another 10.8 on this folded part like this so after measuring it I'm going to mark it then I will fold it this way so I'll fold it this way taking note of the 10.8 point so you're going to be having a perfect square after folding so here I have my 10.8 I also have the same thing at this point so you should have a perfect square so next I'm going to be cutting it over so that I can explain better so I'll just cut off this excess material I have hanging here to explain better so this is what I have so I'll just explain again for clarity the first thing I did was to measure 10 points on one side of my fabric and mark after marking I folded it over like this taking note of the 10.28 point so this is what you're going to have after folding the next thing I did so at this point you'll be having two layers the next thing I did was to measure another 10.8 on this folded part like this after which I marked and folded again so this is the second folding so you are going to be having a perfect square and also you'll be having four layers so after doing this the next thing we are going to be doing is to insert our radius on this folded part the part without opening this part here this folded part is the point where we'll be inserting our 2.8 radius so I'll be marking the 2.8 round at this point like this so make sure that the tape at the tip does not move you only rotate the tape below then you will try to join the point together and have a curve at this point like this so after doing after inserting the radius the next we'll be doing is to insert our flare length and strain allowance which is seven plus one which is equal to eight so i'm going to be measuring it this way round the flare I'm going to be marking 8 inch round at this point like this after which I will connect the lines together so after connecting the lines this is what we'll be having the next thing I'm going to be doing is to cut out the radius part like this and also I'll be cutting out the lower part of the flay also so after cutting this is what we are going to be having next I'll open it up for you to see what it look like so this is what you are going to be having a full circle is what you'll be having so next i'm going to be doing is to cut five more pieces of this flay using the same method after which i'll come back and show you the results so here i have the flay all cut out i have six pieces of the flay cut out at this point like this here i have three and i have three on the other side the next i'm going to be doing is to slash open the side of the flay so this is what it looks like when you open it they are all full circles if you want the sleeve to be full you make it a full circle next i'll be doing is to turn the hem using a bias but if you want to use a lining you cut the lining the same way you cut the flay so i'll be going over to sew the hem using my bias after which i'll come back so here are my two sleeves that are already marked so I'll be attaching the first flay at this point, the second flay will be at this point where the last flay will be on the hem of the sleeve. So here I have my flay, I've turned the 
hem with my bias as you can see i have the six flay at this point so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to slash the side of the flay open so that i can easily attach it to the sleeve so i'm going to be slashing this side of the flay you make sure that they align before you cut so i'm going to be doing this for the six flay i'll be attaching to my sleeve So after slashing, this is what the hem looked like after turning with my bias. So I did it before I slash. So you can see how neat it is when you use a bias to turn it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to attach the flay to my sleeve. And in doing that, I'm going to be taking the flay this way and I'll place it at this point like this. I'll be starting from the last point. That is the last part i'll flip it over like this then i'm going to run my stitch this way after when i turn it's going to be something like this so if you have excess you can place the excess on the flay so i'll just go over my sewing machine and do that so the second one will follow after attaching the first one so this is how the second one is going to be i'll attach it at this point then the first layer is going to follow after attaching the second layer so after inserting it you should have this step like look so as you can see there's a difference between the first and the second and also the third one you should have a little difference when attaching it so that the style and the beauty of the sleeve is going to come out so i'm going to be going over my sewing machine to attach the first layer of the flay at this point like this i will do same for the second and also for the third after which i'll come back and show you the final result so after doing that this is what we have this is the first layer the second layer and the third layer so this is where i sewed it i sewed it at this point also and turned it over and i did the same thing for the first layer i did the same thing also on the second sleeve here i have the first layer the second and the last layer so after doing this the next i'm going to be doing is to sew the side and I've also torn my sleeve with the lining. So I'm going to be attaching the flay to the main sleeve so that I will have a straight line on this side. I will do it on both sides. I will run the stitch on both sides so that the parts will be equal when sewing. After doing that, I'm going to be joining my sleeve like this. So I'll join the sleeve like this and also run a stitch. Ensure that your sleeve is equal at this point. So I'll go over my sewing machine to run to run the stitch after which I'll come back and show you the final result. And make sure that the sleeve is not too tight so it fits well. So this is what we have. I have joined the side like this. Next, I'll be turning it over. So after turning, this is what we have. As you can see, the steps came out well and the sleeve came out beautiful. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe, like and drop a comment. Thank you.